For the Liberals, legalizing pot may have been an electable campaign promise. But with the legislative delays and pointless raids on dispensaries, it's turning out to be bad policy. Many of the licenses to cultivate weed were offered to companies with deep ties to the pharmaceutical industry and even deeper pockets to lobby federal regulators. Which begs the question, just how is Big Pharma planning to ruin legal weed for the rest of us? Okay, well, we are going to revolutionize the way the pot is consumed, distributed, and, well, abused. <laughs> yeah, and by applying what we've learned from our work with opioids, we're pretty convinced that we can turn legal weed into the next national crisis. Right, so that's, that's, that's your goal. Mm -hmm. In China, the word crisis is comprised of, of two characters, right? One meaning opportunity and the other meaning for profit. Yeah. Well, wow, there's two things that I learned from my tattoo artists is one, you're only half right. And two, marijuana isn't nearly as addictive as the prescription painkillers that she sells me. True, no, marijuana may not be particularly habit forming, but to that we say, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Yeah, oh, no, I got it. Oh. We are really excited about our new slow release cannabis pills. Slow release. Yeah, and because the medicinal benefits of pot are so ill-defined. I mean, we can recommend these for pretty much anything. I, yeah. Thank you very much. I, I mean, listen, we already know how to make our patients hopelessly dependent on our products. So, but imagine what we could accomplish if we didn't have to go through those detestable middlemen. Right. Drug dealers. No, doctors. No, no, you can't imagine the amount of money we waste trying to influence physicians at medical conferences with no guarantee that they'll overprescribe. But, but, but isn't the government already your middleman? I mean, they're already controlling distribution. Well, once we jack up the prices, we'll easily be able to sell our swag to the black market to undercut them. Sure. You know, thereby creating that two-tiered system that we've spent years lobbying for. Clearly, Big Pharma can harsh any buzz. But if there's one thing that can take the edge off a progressive issue being co-opted by corporate interests, it's this sample that Lisa gave me of her new line of joints that are pre-rolled with fentanyl patches. Hey, at least the first taste is free. For the Beaverton, I'm Donovan. Oh, that's going to be a problem for sure. The Beaverton, all new episode Wednesday on Comedy.